name is Joshua Kent and I graduated from the performance department. I think what attracted me to performance in part was this notion of failure, which is so prevalent within um, live work. Uh, this idea of not getting it right um, because you're operating in real time, so there's not um, the luxury of a director saying cut. It, it sort of has to happen now and it has to be real and it has to be like in the moment and it has to be your sort of hulking sweaty body like trying to leap off a building and fly even though like you don't have wings. I am often employing these images of um, celebration or expressions of I, th I think any kind of um, internal movement that gets expressed outwardly so um, working with um, cemetery flowers for example um, you know it was really important to me that I not just go out to a craft store and buy a bunch of um, artificial flowers. I mean, this has been a, a, a ten-year process of a collection and um, sort of petal by petal and, and this, this amassing of something where it's this kind of portrait of grief that comes directly from the experience of those who are experiencing it and kind of bringing some semblance of hopefully some meaning and transcendence. Performance was so freeing because it took away the constraints of um, verbal communication and was operating in this purely um, kind of sensory, uh, bodily, intuitive manner that, that came very naturally to me. So I think it was incredibly freeing and, and I think I had been moving in that direction naturally. So when I found it, it just was, it just clicked. So much uh, making, making the things that you want to see in the world exist, so getting together with um, fellow artists or even non-artists and making, uh, making a space for your work. We live in a time and a culture where, you know, everyone takes photos of every meal that they eat and they catalog it and, and, and put it in folders on their computer and I've, I've just never been interested in sort of documenting experiences you know I don't take pictures when I go places because I think it detracts from the experience of actually being there so in my mind I love the idea of one person seeing um, a collage of wildflowers um, on an abandoned building and that potentially moving them for 30 seconds and then they go on about their life and after that it, it doesn't um, the work doesn't exist beyond that moment. I think I, I, I want to um, continue to be making work and hopefully um, moving in some direction where I'm doing something for others simultaneously. Mm -hmm.